Hey, Skip here. I just want to share with you guys one of my prized possessions. My green Woofield, uh, female. She's about uh, 14 inches long. She's very inquisitive. She's not shy at all. Uh, I just fed her two large earthworms and a shrimp. As you can see, she's not camera shy. Wolfies are one of my favorites because of the fact that they're not shy at all. Most eels are nocturnal. Most of them are shy. I like to hide in rocks and crevices and in caves. Or oh, in most aquariums, uh, PVC pipes. But the wolf eel is, is slightly different. Very inquisitive. As you can see, she's coming out of my finger around a purple coral. And sometimes they even command attention. So as you can see, I'm not just into cichlids. I'm into all fish. I'm pretty much well-rounded when it comes to fish or the study of ichthyology. I've been dealing with dealing with fish for more than 20 years now. I pretty much know my species, whether it's salt water, brackish water, or fresh water, whether it's cichlids or North American game fish, tiger muskies, stripes, crocus, bass, flounder, rock, sunfish, or I can go with the cichlids or the African cichlids or saltwater fish, sharks, mago shark, tiger shark, great white shark, black tip shark, reef shark, ragged tooth shark, bull shark, leopard shark, bamboo shark, moray eel, roopers. I pretty much know them all. And I still have a lot to learn. That's why I say this is the greatest hobby ever. Because it's so vast, there's so much to learn. You're dealing with infinity when you're dealing with tropical fish. No matter what species, no matter whether they salt or fresh water. And there's nothing like saltwater monsters. Look as she scours over her territory. So I appreciate you checking in, checking my video out. Uh, I'll tune you in next time when I purchase the male wolf eel and attempt to breed these species. And I'll let you know uh, how it goes. You know I love a challenge. Thank you.